Mes amis Spotmark, bonsoir, bienvenue sur Haïti TV, dans le magazine qui pourra informer sur tout ça qui a rapport avec sport. Normalement, nous connaissons nous deux toujours pour tes choses à pour vous. Je dis à Stéphane Guillaume, il n'est pas ici avec moi dans le studio. Stéphane ne peut pas être avec moi parce que Spotmark went out. We went to the Lord of the Lions, where we had a great time. We met some youth players for the Lions, and then we had a chance to talk with some coaches. We talked to the director of the of the Lord of the Lions, and also we spoke with one of the you know young coach for the Lord of the Lions, Coach Indian, who had the chance last year to win the Disney tournament. Disney tournament is one of the best tournament around the US. So we had a chance to talk to him and we had the chance as, as well to talk to Miss Melanie and also to Damien. So we're gonna invite you to see what we did last week for the Lions because they had the open ceremony season and then Spot Mag were there to make you see how things were with the Lions last week. I'm gonna invite you to see those future stars, those future stars for the U.S. soccer, what, what is their name, where are they from, and then how long they've been playing for the Lions. Let's check it out. And not everybody I go like we, I go like, still we ivory, come in all of likes, mm? in a dance hall style. And not everybody I go like. My name is Shade and I play for the lot of hair lines. Come in a love life, you know, so my name is Dustin and I play for the Lord Hill Lions. and I play for the Lions. Hi, my name is Zen, and I play for the Lauder Hill Lions. Hi, my name is Brendan, and I play for the Lauder Hill Lions. Hi, my name is Max, and I play for the Lauder Hill Lions. <laughs> Digital is an American Exterminate and slay a rabbit Steve 
McGregor and Carl D. and me We got circle length in Bulby Dan of Van Germin, Graft and Mikey Deep now the science and I know me ready All of these Cub Scouts have to talk up to me My name is Chance Washington and I play for Lardo Lions. Moi, c'est Sonny Nodé, n'importe côté de Haïti, en Ed, Miami, je suis toujours branché Spot Mag avec Stéphane Guillaume ou Dylan Mira. I am back again so I believe you know it was make sense for me to do so for the Lions for those kids those kids are different those kids are special and I don't even believe when I was 10 when I was 11 if you know I was gonna be able to do what those kids doing with the ball so it was a pleasure for me to be there to make you enjoy the moment to make you enjoy those kids. I want you to remember those faces. I want you to see those faces because I believe, I strongly believe in 2026, like 10 or 15 of those kids gonna be played at World Cup, gonna be played. I don't know if in Qatar they're gonna be there. I don't know where, but I know they will be there because the talent I've seen over there, it's amazing. The reason why I'm doing that for the Lord Alliance because Lord Alliance is one of the unique club. You can see it, the environment, the kids, the talent we have. The good thing about the Lions, you don't have to ha you, ha you don't have to be a rich kid to be part of this academy. Like I said before, it's a family. The people, the parents, the way they do things over there, it is special. And I'm very proud myself to be part of this academy. And then the reason why I'm doing that also, I want to put that out there for some people to see. In our community, we're doing great thing. It's not only violence. If you want your kids to play sport, and I believe the, the academy, Lions, Lord of Hill, it's one of the best academy. It's a family where your kids gonna feel welcome, where your kids gonna be able to develop this talent, where your kid can have great scholarship. I call this, this video today, the future stars of the US soccer. That's the way I'm gonna call it. That's the way it should be called because those kids, they like amazing. I want you to know those faces and then to understand why I'm doing that. And I'm gonna invite you to meet each of those players right now as we speak. You're gonna know their faces and then you're gonna know their name. When you see them in 2026, you can see, oh, I met those kids before in Spot Mag. Let's see, let's check them out, their name in their faces. My name is Samir Blois and I play for the Lions. My name is Jamar, I play for the Lauder Hill Lions. My name is Quincy and I play for Lauder Hill Lions. My name is Caleb Tomlin and I play for the Lauder Hill Lions. My name is Alex and I play for the Lauder Hill Lions. My name is Eric Borland and I play for the Lauder Hill Lions. My name is Junior and I play for the Lauder Hill Lions.
My name is Jason. I play for the Lauderdale Hill Lions. Today we here at the Lord of Hill Lions, we're doing something special. Today we are with one of the friend of my, a big player, I don't know how to present this guy. It's the Mr. Davis. Davis been around for a long time. And then today we're going to know, we're going to learn a little bit about this big club, the Lord of Hill Lions. I don't think I can have better person, better coach to talk about the Lions. Today I have with this guy in my show, I'm talking about Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis, how you doing? I'm blessed, my brother. Uh, thank you for doing this and putting this together for the club. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege um, to speak about this club. This club was formed uh, early 1980s by the great Lenny Taylor, who actually was uh, the second African-American to get a license um, in this country. Uh, I took over in 1989 as a player and then coach and have been here ever since doing what the U.S. Soccer Federation now insists is needed, developing grassroots soccer. That's what Lauder Hill Lions have been about. Uh, we're a family-oriented, uh, community-based program. Uh, we've sent many players onto the professional ranks, uh, including Rudy Hare himself, who played for us at a young age, uh, Tyrone Marshall, uh, Shaq Bo currently playing in Spain, uh, hundreds of kids onto the college. So that's a reason for doing what we do, trying to make a difference in the community and steer these kids who love this game so much and as passionate as we did into the right direction. Um, coach, how long you been you been doing this? How long you been working with the Lions? Because I heard you have been around for a long time. For whoever is watching right now, can you tell them how long you have been around and then why? you doing this? Well, I came here in 1988 and um, Lenny Taylor actually was the coach of the team and I played that year and we won a championship and the following year he left the coach professionally in the Caribbean and I took over. The uh, reason I do this is growing up I always had someone there for me and making a difference is so important especially in this day and time with our young people. If we don't have people who are willing to guide them, who are willing to provide an avenue to keep them out of trouble, then they will get in trouble. So that's what we do here. We do summer camps, we do school out camps. Whatever it is to keep the kids, give them something to do, that's what the club is about. Coach, before I let you go, and I want to thank you for everything have you done for those kids, and then tell me one thing, if a parent is watching right now, they should bring the kids to this program, the Lord Day Lines. Well, I'll tell you something. We have a motto, once a lion, always a lion. And almost 99% of our coaching staff are players who played here as young men. And they came back to give back to the program. As far as development, all of them have, have license. They've all played professionally. Some of them national players. And you can't get a better environment than we have here. Um, it's not about the money. When you go out there, there are clubs that are charging. Uh, $3,000 for a season. 
thanks to the city of Lord Hill and the relationship that we have, they supplement our program. So the parents, we make it affordable for parents to come here. As I said, you cannot go wrong with the coaches because we have some of the best coaches in South Florida. Thank you, sir. That was Coach Keys. And then we're going to look forward to talk to some more people about the Lions. We will be back. My name is Naya. I play for Lauder Hill Lions. We come back with one of the coach for the Lauder Hill Lions. Who is going to present himself very quick. How long you been with the Lions and then which team is is you know is working with right now. How are you, sir? Hi, I'm Coach Indian. I've been with the Lauder Hill Lions for about six years now. So we've actually played U19 here. I started out here coaching as a volunteer coach. Uh, right now I'm working with the U13. That team I've had for about, I think three, three going on. This is my fourth season working with them. I have them since they were U10. So for a good set of kids, they're developing, but that's what we are about here in Lions, is just developing. Getting the kids to the next level, which is what I'm trying to do. I always told my kids, I always told my kids, my goal is to try to get them to college. And I told their parents, it's, I'm hoping not one of them has to pay for their kid to go to college. So for, we have some very good players out there. Goalkeeper, one of the best in the area. So for, we have a number 10, Twain, so for, but all of the kids, they're all exceptional. Very excellent players, but again, it's just all about developing the players developing the players and trying to get them to the other level and that's that's one of the lot of the Lions way even with coming up from the U9 coach Larky the U11 with coach we coach coach Alfie and coach Keaton and so for U12 we have coach Rudy here and coach Keaton and so forth it's just all about developing and pushing the kids to the next level but it's not only about sports we focus on schoolwork a lot we emphasize on that a lot because we always tell them you're a student athlete, so you're a student first. So we press them about school, make sure they're getting the homework done, keeping the grades up, so forth. So it's just a lot of the Lions way. We've been around for a lot of years, over 20 something years. So it's just just getting the players out there, getting them to the next level. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Indian. That was Coach Indian talking to us to the ITTV. And then we here at the Lauder Lions just doing that for those kids. It's a great club. It's one of the best clubs for me around. They had a great season last year. And then the 2018 2019 season going to be starting. And then you're going to hear more about the Lions. Thank you, guys. My name is Sasha and I play for Lauder Hill Lions. We be back to the Lauder Lions. We are here at the Veteran Park where the 2018-2019 season about to start. We have one of, I don't know how to call this lady, she worked 24-7 for this club. Why? Tell me why you are so excited about the Lions, you're so excited about this club? Well, I'm very excited because I know that these kids enjoy it and I also know that um, it's so important for them because I think sports play a big factor in your childhood and creating memories for them. And as long as they're having fun, I'm going to help and do what best I can. How long you been you been around doing this? Because I think you're working 24-7. I don't think you have any. Because me personally, I call you every day. Every time I call you, you're at work at 5, at 6, you always answer. So how long you been doing this? Well, this particular role I've been in probably for the last two years. Um, but prior to that, I was always still very active and trying to help the kids and do whatever I can. But for the last, I would say, about two years, I've been very active in just kind of the operations and the, the, the money part and also just the planning of things and just trying to make it more community-centered center, so that we have more things for the kids. It's not just about soccer, you know. Mm -hmm. It's about the whole experience for them. So, okay. um, so I've been really trying to make that happen. <laughs> okay, whoever's watching right now, tell them a little bit about this club what make the lines so special I think the family atmosphere that we have makes it very special and very different. When you hear about other clubs and how, you know, they go to a game, they go play and they leave, but there's not any really critical relationships that are being built amongst the kids and I think that's important. I want them to have these relationships for as long as they possibly can. So that family atmosphere I think is what makes us different and but also the kids are competitive and they compete with each other which is always good and, um, and we also kind of like keep it low-key but we have fun and I think we that's the most fun. important thing we have fun Mel before I let you go and I want to thank you so much for the hard work you've been doing with those kids if you have anything to say to whoever is watching right now what would it be 
would say just keep looking out for the Lauder Hill Lions because we have great things coming. You know, the World Cup is coming in 2026 or eight years from now, and I'm so excited because I plan to be in the stands, and it will be so amazing to be able to see one, two, three, four, how many kids be able to play in that arena that came from Lauder Hill Lions. Thank you, Mel. Thank you. All right, that was Melanie. She's amazing, and then she's been working for the Lions, I don't know how long, and then she's a hardworking woman. She's been doing an excellent job, and then, you know, that's why we had her in here to talk a little bit about the Lions. Thank you, guys. Love you. My name is Christopher, and I play for the Lauder Hill Lions. We're still at the Lauder Hill Lions. Today, we're doing something special for those kids. We're doing something special for the, for the club. Now, we have somebody very special from the Lions who's going to talk just a little bit about the Lions. Damien, how are you today? Tell me a little bit about the Lions. Tell whoever's watching today a little bit about this great club, the Lauder Hill Lions. Lauder Hill Lions is an awesome, it's a very special club. Occasionally in time in life, there is a, 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 a core lesson of those great people. Um, I think that's what we have here at the Lauder Hill Lions. We have a, just the last three, four years, a great group of parents who came together to really support their parents, their kids, support the, the coaches. And we've really produced what we believe is, is an awesome group of kids. We moved from one team three years ago to about six teams now. And we keep growing each year, adding more teams, adding more kids and just, just in, um, encouraging us an, an atmosphere of family and friendship here at Lauder Hill Lions. Um, thank you so much, Damien. That was Damien with the Lauder Hill Lions. Damien been around for a long time, and then this guy loves this club. He worked hard for this club. And then thank you so much, Damien, for talking a little bit about the Lions. We will be back in a second. Thank you. My name is Sebastian, and I play for Lion Team. And your parents, we welcome you to the Lauder Hill Lions family! I'm back again and I believe you guys enjoyed you guys see those faces those young athletes those young talent trust me there's so many of those kids I believe and I strongly believe they will be in the high level and once again and I thank you the Lions because they opened the door for me and I can do that for those kids and I remember when I was playing I didn't even have that chance to even be in front of a camera even one time in my life. And then look at those kids today. And I believe they, they, they enjoy it and then they really deserve it because there's so many talents over there. Whoever is watching right now, and I want you two guys to come mm -hmm. to visit those kids. And I also want to thank you all the parents for the sacrifice because without you parents, we were not going to be able to do what we're doing with those kids. And once again, thank you so much for your sacrifice for being there every every practices to bring those kids for us and then they can develop their talent because without you guys without the sacrifice every saturday every thursday every wednesday to bring those kids to practice they were not gonna be in that level they have right now so i want to thank you you parents and i want to thank you all the coaches for the sacrifice for the love that's what make the lines different because trust me the lines it's not about money if you can see what those people charge for those kids, it's nothing compared to all the program, what they charge. So I want to thank you, you guys, and I want to thank the city of Lauder Hill because they put the program out there for those kids and they can be able to play sport because you know what the sport means. Sport play a big part of our life. Sport can save lives. Sport can help people to go to the high level. Sport can make them get a better education. And then I also tell my kids, they have to always come by sport and education because you cannot just be a soccer player, you cannot just be a football player, you cannot just be a basketball player when you don't come by with, with the school. You got to come by both of them because not even we create a, a, a athlete, also we want to create a professional, a doctor a lawyer, they can serve the community better tomorrow. So I want to thank you again, the coaches, I want to thank you, the parents, and I want to thank you, um, everybody who give the sport like, the opportunity to be there, to talk with those kids, and then to put what you guys doing out there, and then people can see what you guys doing. If anybody want to sponsor those people, please, I please you guys, please come out, come to help those 
kids come to help the Lauderdale Lions because they are one of the few programs out there who just see those kids uh, like a family, see those kids as a, a, a player, not see them as an assess, not see them like they want to make money with them. They just want to develop those kids. They just want to make those kids be better and then to be able to play in the high level. And I strongly believe in 2026, you will see at least 10 or 15 of those kids playing in the World Cup. Either they play for Haiti, either they play for Jamaica, either they play for U.S. national team, but you will see them out there because there is so many talents at the Lord Alliance. Thank you guys once again. Thank you so much for opening the door for me and I can put the Lord Alliance out there, the future stars of the U.S. soccer Lord Alliance. Thank you guys. Love you. Enjoy those best moments of the Lord Alliance. The <laughs> Oh!